And while we're on the topic of the legislature, we wanted to update you on a big story involving the Oregon Democratic Party. You may remember the drama surrounding the half million dollar donation to Democrats last fall. It came from a former executive at the disgraced cryptocurrency exchange FTX. State elections officials fined the Democratic Party $15,000 for wrongly reporting the source of that donation last year. The fine was originally 35 grand, but the night before a hearing on the issue, the elections division slashed the fine. Now it's notable because Oregon's director of elections is the former deputy director for the Democratic Party of Oregon. So the optics there, not great to say the least. Naturally, state Republicans were quick to blast the Democrats, demanding that they return the $500,000. But for weeks, the Dems stayed relatively quiet on that front, not saying whether they were going to give the money back or not until now. On Friday, the party said they are indeed sending it back. They plan to send the half million dollars to the U.S. Marshals, which the feds say will be used to compensate victims of the FTX fraud. The Democrats are pulling money from the campaign accounts of these high-ranking officials. Governor Tina Kotek, U.S. Senators Ron Wyden and Jeff Merkley, and U.S. Representatives Earl Blumenauer, Suzanne Bonamici, and Val Hoyle. The Democrats also say they're giving back a $7,100 donation from FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried per a request from the Department of Justice. Bankman Freed faces a slew of federal charges related to the demise of FTX. He's pleaded not guilty. But the announcement that the Democrats will return the money appears to be the end of a chapter the Dems would certainly like to forget.